you are a family photographer and you specialize in adoption portraits as well. So tell me a bit more about your business and what you do. I photograph families. I've been doing it for about uh, over 15 years. I, I can't count anymore, but over 15 years and I've been doing it for uh, especially families, but I also brought in adoption families um, as well, like a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And how many years ago is it since we worked together, a couple? Maybe two years, I think. Maybe two years, like things have, have obviously changed and evolved. So it's going to be great to deep dive into that in your workflows. So if you don't mind, I'm going to jump into your 17 Hats account and we'll talk about like your customer journey. Okay, cool. So I can see that you've previously purchased 17 Hats templates. How did you get on with those? Um, actually, I just saw, they just, um, I don't even know how I got them. I but you never I used them? No, I think maybe, I think I used one and it was accidental, like, because I clicked on it. But And then which, so let me start with like your customer journey. So how do your customers typically find you? They're finding me on social media. Uh, some are some are going to my website because I'm now on page one on a lot of um, keywords. So they're finding me on social media on on Google, and then they go on my website. And then um, I have a Seventeen Hats lead form embedded on my site. So it just takes it directly and it says I have a new lead when someone clicks on it, and and then Seventeen Hats sends me the text message, and so then I call them right away. So it's pretty cool. That's very cool. And so in your social media, you're directing people to the website. All of your traffic is coming to your website first, and then they're filling in your lead capture form. Right. Okay. And then, and then immediately I call them, but then they go through a workflow depending on what they clicked on. And is there a reason that you call them? I call them for that personal touch. Yeah. I like to give them that personal touch and it actually is very impressive for them. They're like, wow, I just clicked enter and, you know, I'm getting a call right away. So for them, that, that really means a lot. And what you've done so wonderfully is you've automated your system, but you've used personalization where you need to and where you can. Yeah. That's really cool. So people come to here, they fill in the lead capture form, you get notified in your system. You give them a call and then they typically go into a workflow within 17 hats. Right. Right. If, they go into a workflow depending on what they clicked, if they want branding or adoption or an event or whatever it is. Let's do a family session workflow. Okay. So the first step of your workflow is you're sending them a questionnaire. Right. And so if that to Sorry? No, go ahead, go ahead. When you're sending them the questionnaire, is that to find out more information about what they're looking for or is there a reason behind the questionnaire? The questionnaire is to find out what, yeah, what they want, what they, you know, what they've thought of, any ideas that they may have, why they're doing this, why is it important? So just a, a quick little, I want to get to know you kind of thing. Brilliant. And then we have a to do for you to add a contact to MailChimp. Right. Do you use Zapier at all? I do. I, um, I have another one that's called Publer that I use. Um, I have an unlimited Zap, but they don't connect to all of my accounts. So I haven't used it. Um, Zapier, I only have five because I don't pay for the extra. Yeah. The extra um, Zap. So I don't have enough to add all my workflows on there. Well, if you ever get more, you know that you can automate this step so that you don't have to automatically add contact so that you can automatically add people into MailChimp and you don't have to do this step. But I understand. I think it automatically, it. Adds, it. I think it automatically adds it, but I have another, another system that does it. Mm -hmm. So this is like a, just a fail safe to make sure that it's done. Yeah, to make sure it's done. Great. And then your 
obviously confirming what date they're looking for to see if you're available or not. When you confirm the date, you amend the project date to the time of the booking. Right. And you're booking through Acuity. Do you want to ever use the 17 Hat scheduler? You know, Acuity has been working so well and it took me such a long time to, to set everything up that I never thought of changing. Um, I don't know all the benefits of 17 Hat scheduler. I just never even looked at it. So basically everything's working and you're like, well, it's working. I don't need to, to mess with anything. I just, I just don't have time to add, you know, to do something else that is already done. So. Yeah, because obviously when you got 17 hats, the scheduler wasn't a feature back then. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then you have a phone call with potential clients to confirm details. Is that confirming details about the session with them? Yeah, maybe like what they're wearing, um, what location we're going to go to and things like that. Great. And then you're sending a session quote. When do you send a quote to people? Is that like when they book or afterwards? Um, this is after they, after they already schedule the session. I give them a quote on if there's anything additional or any albums or anything like that. Amazing. And then you're giving them access to the client portal. 14 days before your session, you're sending them a prep email to get them excited and to let them know kind of what they should be wearing and things like that. And then you're doing an email reminder before the day. Right. And then one day afterwards, you're encouraging them to book a reveal session. Can you tell us a bit more about what a reveal session is? Well, that's when um, my sessions are not all inclusive. My sessions um, are, um, I come to you after and we look at all your images and you pick your favorites and we create art from them. So. In order to do that, I have to know what looks good in your home, what um, matches your decor, what you would really like, how many pieces you would like, maybe for a grandmother's house or your uh, family member's house or whatever. So that we sit down in an appointment and we, I re basically I reveal the images to you. You pick your favorites and we create art for your house. So that's, that's what that appointment is. Yeah, and that's another way that you add a personal touch, isn't it? Yeah. Rather than it yeah, being a completely automated system, it's really nice for you to connect with your customers. Right, it really does help. Yeah, that's amazing. So then you have um, a to-do item to schedule that event because you're still using Cutie, so you need to put it into 17 Hats as well. We have a reminder about the reveal session. And then afterwards, once you've done your reveal and you've talked about what they want to purchase, you then send them a, an invoice. Right, for their new order. Great. And then you do a phone call to let them know your order's here, come and pick it up. Do you deliver orders directly to people's houses? I do. If, if, their, if their order is um, of a specific collection or a specific type I go and I install it in their home so not everyone picks up their order that's just like maybe a small order but most orders get delivered and installed on their walls. Oh, amazing and then obviously you're asking for feedback is that just an email where you're like sending them to like Facebook or something for a review or is there a questionnaire that accompanies it? That That's a link to Google so the Google reviews and then they're able to put it in there. And that's because they also get you, text that's just not there on this on this form. Yeah. And that's because you want them to go to Google, isn't that right? That's your preferred place for your reviews. Yeah, that's where I want it to go. So I can keep ranking on page one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, the, the great thing that you have going on is that it's all connected. It's not 17 hats isn't a standalone piece for you. Everything in your business is really well thought out and really connected. So the fact that you're not just sending them a questionnaire, you're directing them to where you want them to go because of a different purpose, because you know it's going to help you with your marketing efforts too. Right. So I work with a lot of people, a lot of photographers come to me and they don't know where to start with workflows. 
So what advice would you give to somebody who just doesn't know where to start? I would say hire you because it was very, <laughs> it would have been very difficult for me to do that on my own. Um, even now, sometimes I need to adjust things and I'm just like, it's so overwhelming that I, you know, I just don't do it. So I would rather have someone do that for me. Um, but if, if someone were thinking of, you know, workflows, definitely sit down and, and write down what your daily routine is for each job or for each type of job. And that would make it easier to, you know, take the, go down the client journey to make it more effective and efficient. Mm -hmm. And before you actually started using 17 hats, were you using anything? No, I used 17 hats for years, but I was only using it for the contract. I wasn't um, taking advantage of all it had to offer. And then once I started to look into it, I said, wow, look at all the things that it can do, you know. Um, and as the years have gone by, I think I've been um, using 17 hats for maybe 10 years now, maybe eight to 10 years. I don't, I don't even know when they started, but from somewhere in the beginning. And, um, and I've, no, I've seen so many of the upgrades now that I would like to maybe look at the scheduler, maybe look at all the other things. I just, there's a lot now that is offered, so. Yeah. So one of the things that I always talk about is maintenance. So after you, your system is set up, to keep it at a high level, I always recommend that people schedule something in their calendar every three months to just sit down and look, because your business will change. You know, you'll... Yeah bring out new offers and things like that. But the system will also change. They'll bring out new features like they've done. So it's always great to, you know, block off some time in your calendar so that you can sit down and look at this. But I mean, you have something wonderful here. It's working really well for you. You're really busy. You're doing great. Thank you. So thank you so much for sharing that with everybody because I think it would be so helpful because people come to me they just don't have a clue where to even start with their workflows. So even us walking through that and kind of showing yours is really going to help other photographers out there. Yeah, that, it helps a lot to have that workflow. Absolutely. Okay, thank okay. you so much for giving me your time today. I really, really appreciate it. No problem. All right, speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.